our organization has not been doing well for quite some time now. So I have called a meeting with Maria, our plant head and Tim, a management consultant from Global Solutions India. Hello Tim, hello Maria. Thanks for coming for this meeting. This is a very important meeting for our organization and we would like to discuss on some critical issues. Hi Mike. I see you worried for quite some time now. I hope I have some clues of the reasons as well. Is the lower performance of our organization that is worrying you? Very true Maria. You see, our performance has been going down day by day and I find that the basic reason behind this is that our team is not data driven. They take some ad hoc decisions based on their gut feeling which many times are not true. As a result, we are not able to move ahead and our performance is going down day by day. And that's the reason that I have also called Tim in this meeting as he has faced similar situations in previous assignments. Oh. By the way Maria, let me introduce you to Tim. Tim is a management consultant from Global Solutions India. He has guided several organizations worldwide to come out from these type of situations. That's why I have invited him to attend this meeting and to suggest a way forward so that we are also able to meet our customers' expectations and in the process become more profitable. Hi Tim, welcome to our organization. I hope you had a round our company. So what's there in your mind and how can you help us come of this situation? Hi Mike, hi Maria. Thanks for inviting me to your company. I have taken a round of your company and have interacted with several people at various levels, and what you said Mike is true. Based on your current situation, this is what I propose. You need to start from the basics by putting your house in order. So first you need to do 5S in your organization, and once you have reached a certain level of 5S implementation, we would then take you through TPM implementation. This will ensure that your equipment and processes are in place. Also when we are implementing TPM, we would also include the culture of Lean Six Sigma so that the processes are more stable and you are able to meet the customer's expectations. This will ensure that we have an overall development of the organization. Using such an approach, the people would get developed, they will understand the equipment, processes, the voice of customer, the voice of business in a much better way bringing an overall organizational development and growth. Also people would be more logical, analytical and data, driven. So, this would bring in a sustained growth for your organization. There is one good news for your Mike. While I was going around your company, your employees also were very concerned about the organizational performance and very enthusiastic to work to improve it. So as a management consultant, I will say, this is a very positive indication where people are motivated to improve their performance so that organization can improve. So there is nothing that is stopping you to the path of success. All you need is to take some quick decision. Thanks Tim, for your valuable inputs. You have put the things in the right perspective and you have defined the right path for us as well. Well Mike, I feel what Tim is saying is actually true and this also solves my worries. As a plant head I would want that the new system that we implement should be simple, easy to implement and it should involve all the employees of the organization. I feel, if all the employees are involved, then only we can have a sustained and improved organizational performance. Also I am confident that by bringing in the three world famous methodologies of 5S, TPM and Lean Six Sigma we will be able to have some quick gains also. Very true Maria. Quick but sustainable gains. Great, you have made my life easy and have taken my worries away, so Tim, we are with you. Now tell us how quickly can we start? And also what is required for implementing this? Well, all we need for a successful implementation is your as well as Maria's active commitment. But I would like to make a word of caution at this point of time. Generally these initiatives starts with a big jazz and when we start getting the results, we quickly offload the responsibilities to the people below. It's not that we should not do this but at the same time, we always have to demonstrate active commitment. Then only, such initiatives can be sustained. What you are saying is true. We already made this mistake in the past and now we have learned from our mistakes. Tim, can you please share your contact details with us? Sure Mike. Here it is.
Our website is www.globalsolutionsenia.in and our email is contact at globalsolutionsenia.in. Thanks Tim for sharing your website and email details. We will surely get in touch with you to take this forward. So, thanks Tim, we will surely visit your website www.globalsolutionsindia.in and also would write an email to contact at globalsolutionsindia.in. Thanks for coming to this meeting.